All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Score. Today, we're here with Max, Larry, and Nick. Ah, all right, we hear it. We hear uh, Max, Larry, and Nick. Say what's up, y'all. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? All right, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the buyout market with players like Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook and where will they be going. We're going to have an all-star game draft. We're going to have our mid-season award show. We're going to talk about who we think is going to win each award. And we're going to talk about are the Suns a super team, man. Let's start it off with what's recent. We got Kevin Love possibly going to Miami. What do y'all think about that? Pretty good, honestly. Um, they need... I mean, they're good. They're good at shooting, anyways. But they really need a power forward. I mean, they need a point guard more than they need a power forward. But I mean, it would be a good addition for them. I mean, I don't see them making it out the second round, though. Still, you know, with that. So. Gotta agree. I think it's it's a solid pickup. You can spread the floor, but Miami's just not good enough to get past the second round. They run into Cleveland, Boston, Philly. Um, and obviously Milwaukee, they're making it past them. Kevin Love ain't moving the needle there, so it's not a big deal. The yeah, same thing. Kevin Love doesn't move the needle. He provides floor spacing, so he's definitely like a plus addition. Definitely an like upgrade with P.J. Tucker. Still, there's not a top five team in the East. I don't think they're going to make any So, all right. So, he hasn't 100% gone to Miami. Another team he can go to is the 76ers. How would y'all feel about him on? Philadelphia. Uh, I think uh, that honestly might be good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it gives them more shooting, and they need a power forward as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, they they can make a run. I mean, they're gonna make a run, but maybe I don't. I have no clue. I mean, it's good. It's good if they pick them up. I mean, I like it more with Philly because. It just gives a little bit more depth if someone gets injured, like a shooter gets injured. K-, K Love plays like nine minutes, ten minutes in the playoffs, like hits like three threes, sits back down, like, and they have a good enough defense to sustain it for the rest of the time. So I think it's a solid pickup. But, uh, but again, it's not like a game changer or anything. It's the Sixers, right? Like, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Sixers. Yeah, they need a backup center. They have three backup centers right now, but none of them are good. They don't use any of them. So with Tom and Kevin Love being a veteran. Five man that can stretch the floor as well, so it benefit the whole team and right? help him be when he's not on the floor. I'm not going to lie, I disagree with y'all with Miami. I feel like Kevin Love to Miami would actually be a huge addition because they they literally don't have a power forward at all. Like him being there provides size, spacing, rebounding. He he's still a good player. The past couple of seasons, he's been in the six man of the year race. He just he just plays behind Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. Ain't nothing you can do about that, especially at his age. Sure, it'll make Miami better, but it won't make them good enough to make it past the second round. Yeah, I, uh, why why is Miami a, a team that was a well? You just look at the rest of the Eastern teams. Like, yeah, 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 all the teams are weak at one position. Celtics aren't weak at any position. The Cavs don't have a small forward. Sixers don't have a power forward that's that good. Or the um, um, Bucks don't have a shooting guard. The Heat, the Heat right now don't have a power forward or point guard. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like Kyle Lowry, but I can't say we don't got a point guard. I, I don't love Kyle Lowry, but it's not like we have multiple point guards. We have... Gabe Vincent, we had Tyler Hero who plays point guard off the bench, Oladipo who plays point guard off the bench sometimes too. Like, I ain't, I ain't gonna say we got nothing at point guard now. Yeah, but no, I, think what, good what, I think what the Heat need more is this uh, the pure facilitator. I, need, I think they need like somebody like Chris Paul to dish out and like be able to shoot the three like consistently more than uh, Kyle Lowry does, in my opinion. But no, you guys just, you guys don't have a score and punch. You, you need Tyler Hero to come off the bench, and then your offense looks all right. But otherwise, your offense looks so, so dead because Jimmy can't shoot. Like, he can't hit the ocean when he's sitting on a boat, but both can't shoot for the life of him. He's much better in the playoffs, so I think he'll be good. But you guys don't have that pure score that you guys need, that boost off the bench or, or that score in your starting lineup. And Kyle Lowry's not that good of a player, but, like, he's fine. He's a serviceable player. 
can't shoot that well anymore, can't play as much defense as before because he's getting old. So you guys just aren't deep enough. And then your top talent, your top two players are Bam and Jimmy, Giannis and Drew or Giannis and Chris, Joel Embiid and Harden. No, 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 no. Joel Embiid, Harden, no. And and if you want to know why, just look at the playoffs last season. I I don't even got to explain nothing. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum could barely almost beat us in. And we were missing Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, who you who you even said is serviceable. You said Kyle Lowry, Tyler Hero would be our scoring punch. And we were missing both of them. And we only lost by a jump shot. Like, it's Miami going somewhere is not that far-fetched. I understand we had a slow start to the season. But Jimmy Butler's been out. Bam was out to begin the season. Now they've been playing. And we've been playing better. But... Miami is a team that that I don't think anybody wants to face in the first round. Those top teams, uh, none none of them want to face Miami. I can tell you that for sure. Like it won't be an easy out, but I don't see them winning. Like you know, it'll be tough because they played like a really tough defense. Yeah, yeah. I... Playoff Jimmy's great, but y'all just aren't as talented. Boston's not the same team as they were when you guys brought them to Game Seven. Tatum and Brown are much better. They have Malcolm Brogdon, who's a huge addition off the bench. Um, yeah, Derek sure, White's sure. been playing out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> he won Player of the Player of the Week as a role player. So, like boss, uh, uh, like y'all, y'all can't be boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, guys, you guys could give Milwaukee some trouble this year because they lack continuity. But with Chris back, they've won twelve in a row. So, uh, yeah, 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 they yeah. They could make some trouble, but not that much trouble. Yeah, Milwaukee and the Celtics are. <laughs> The clear contenders, though they've been they've been balling. I'm just talking from a Heat fan's perspective, but we should change this and talk about Russell Westbrook also. Like, where do y'all think is y'all favorite landing spots from? I hate to say it, but it's 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 gonna be the Clippers. That's that's his best fit, honestly. When Paul George was on OKC with Russell Westbrook, he was balling out. He was an MVP candidate, everything like that. And I think Russell Westbrook brings the team to facilitating and he's gonna do what he's gotta do on the team i mean it's gonna make mistakes but that's russell westbrook he got this guy let him do what he's gonna do and i feel like he's gonna he's gonna bring um some pretty good things to the clippers what you think larry i think clip is the best spot for him just like he doesn't have to move anywhere he doesn't have to change arenas either so Definitely the best spot for him. He has a bunch of shooting around him, defense around him. He can just be playmaking and just be Russ. He doesn't have to worry about taking shots away because Kyle, I mean, Kawhi and Paul George only average like 20 points right now. So you have to worry about that. Best spot for him. Definitely LA Clippers. If if I'm Russ, 100% I want to go to the Clippers. Like he can see his family every night. And yeah, he has the best chance of winning a chip. But if I'm the Clippers, I don't want Russ that bad. Y'all keep saying he's a he's a facilitator. I want to qualify him as a facilitator. He's he can make nice passes, but he's not that facilitator that looks to pass first. He can see an open man sometimes, but he's not the facilitator facilitator that the Clippers need. I'm scared that he'll come off the bench, and he'll do stupid things. He'll turn it over four times, then the Clippers will get scored on really easily in transition. Like, because I don't think he'll be playing next to Kawhi and Paul George that much because he wants the ball in his hand. He's a horrible off-ball player. And Paul George and Kawhi and Terrence Mann even bring up the ball. And Eric Gordon brings it off the bench. Eric Gordon is the facilitator that the Clippers needed. He got seven assists, like, last night and the night before that, leading the Clippers in the assists. He facilitates great off the bench. The Clippers don't need Westbrook. Like, I don't think it'd be that bad if he knows his role. But apparently Westbrook's even asking to start or play, like, significant minutes now. I think... The- Westbrook could be better on the Bulls because the Bulls suck. They have no direction. Their front office sucks. They don't know what they're doing. I just think there's a little bit more excitement with Russ, right? And he could just do his thing because they suck. So he could just do whatever the hell he wants, basically. He's not scared of turning the ball over in a playoff game. He can just be him, essentially, and build up his value. So I think the Bulls are the best fit for Russ. And if I'm the Clippers, I don't want him. The Bulls do need a fall guy, though, someone to... So they could just blame the season on, you know, Russell Westbrook. Teams love doing that with him. But I think I think Clippers is actually the best ball for him because what they missing is, like, they got well, how Russell Westbrook plays. He does a lot of drive and kick. On that Clippers team, they 
I think I seen a stat, something like they produce the most driving kick opportunity, something like that. Because when you look at their team, they got a bunch of wing shooters who who are three and D players. And Russell Westbrook, he could, even though I don't think he's that great of a player, I think that's the best spot for him to be Russ. And I think he's, I think it's going to eventually happen because Paul George and Marcus Smart are openly recruiting him. Marcus Morris. Uh, Marcus Morris, I'm tripping. Yeah, 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 Marcus Morris. <clears throat> Who else is on the buyout market still? Um, Nerns Noel. I don't think he uh, bought out yet, or has he? I think he is. I think there's a conversation that happened, but I don't think he's bought out yet. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, if if he Same was to bring D Rose, bring D Rose. All right, D Rose. Chicago should bring D Rose back, even if it's just for kicks. If 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 he gets one, like I don't care. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago. Noel is good, because they were asking for like picks for Noel early in the season. I think he's a good defensive player. I think he's fit really well with the Mavs because Mavs have no defense in the post, and he can play some tough defense. So if he gets bought out, Mavs need to pick him up. I would like the seventy sixes. Yeah, they get that backup big they need, but I'm a Mavs fan now because Kyrie Ky- Ky- <laughs> really left. I'm sad. I'm going to leave. Who else is in the... I think that's mainly it for the bio. John Wall. Mm, John Wall. John Wall. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> He's not that good of a player. He doesn't do much anymore. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. He can't finish anymore. He's, yeah. He just runs, like, pretty fast. Um, like the Washington Wizards? Team. Yeah. Like the Washington team. Yeah. Um, another bio player, Danny Green? Or did, no, he signed with yeah, he, to, Cleveland. He signed with Cleveland. Which, which you were saying Cavaliers got a hole there. You don't think they fixed it with that? Not Danny Green. Just not the same player. He's too old. Yeah. Sergi, yeah, he, he he definitely helps. He definitely helps, but he's not the starting yeah. small forward one on a championship team. I mean, he's done it a couple of times like, starting small forward on a championship team. I want, I want, I want like a Mikael or a OG. I don't or think Kelly Uber. That's, what I, that's what I really wanted Kelly Uber. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kelly. Nice cheap option for them. Yeah, but this talent range, that's like the best. The, the I'll, I'll be shocked if uh, Cavaliers can get like a. More talented small forward than Danny Green. I feel like they probably couldn't all season, definitely. Yeah, they could, but Danny Green right now, nah, he's not playing any defense. He's all these. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched Danny Green in a while. Yeah, I should, yeah, I should yeah. watch him before I say. I think there's only yeah. one more player that's notable Serge Ibaka, but he's also old. He has back issues. Yeah. I think our team will probably pick him up. I wouldn't mind if, <laughs> again, Dallas picked him up and gave him a chance, but. He'd be pretty good on Sixers because he only has to play like 10 minutes. Yep. Play that like Dwight Howard role. Yeah, 10 minutes. Hey. Yeah. Another guy who I would not mind to see Miami Heat scoop, Serge Ibaka. He would not mind to see that at all. Basically the same thing with, with Kevin Love, but defense. All right, let's go on to our next segment. We're going to have an all-star game draft. We're gonna, how we're going to do this is it's going to be a two-on-two. So it's going to be me and Max against Larry and Nick, and we're going to pick our teams. Who? Which team do you want to be, Larry? You want to be Giannis or LeBron? I'll be Giannis. You want to be Team Giannis? That's perfect because I want to be Team LeBron. All right, so. Bro, what you doing, bro? What you doing? <laughs> Come on, man. All right, so. So, should we, Larry, could you do like a, a spin the wheel to see the draft order? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Four of us, right? Or, or it's just going to be two since you're going to be number one and me and Max are going to be number two. Spin a dice. Um, I'll be even, you be odd. All right. Are we drafting based off of like starters first and then reserves? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll go first. Yeah, y'all got the first pick. That means that we get the draft reserves first, right? Because y'all get to start drafting starters first. All right, but yeah, um, I, y'all y'all want to do what you you would do or what 
we think gonna happen. Hmm. So like like we got you got you got we got LeBron right with the first pick. What I think gonna happen is LeBron gonna take Kyrie, but like, so you trying to do that or will we? I think we should just should we just do like the best players like available and like I think you can draft off fit too because all stars like let's say that like Sabonis is really good this year but he's not an all star game player right he's not one yeah, of those yeah. guys that like give you flashy dunks yeah. so. hey let, let's just try and build a team that's gonna beat each other like, let's try and build a better team out the two I do want to have a list because. They're replacements, right? So who are the starters now? Is Lowry Lowry Market and starter? Uh, John Morant, John John Morant yeah, is. The, wait, say it. So for the West, it's LeBron, Luca, Lowry, Ja, and Jokic for the starters, and then the East is Giannis, Embiid, Kyrie. Kyrie's on the on the East though. Yeah, yeah for the All Star game. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Kyrie, Kyrie, Donovan, and. JT. Wait, so it's is Giannis, Kyrie, Donovan, JT, and who? And Embiid. Um, Embiid? Wait, Embiid's starting now. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Lowry Martinin is also a starter for Zion. Yeah. All right, so the starters are LeBron, Luka, Ja, Lowry, Jokic, Giannis, Kyrie, Donovan, JT, Embiid. Like Yamar, you trade someone to do like we all just draft our, our own team, five players to have like a tournament. Or, or, like, or, or, like, no, 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 no. Just just two teams. Yeah, you know, y'all draft together. All right. So who, who picking first out of the two of y'all? You can go next. All right. Um, we start with the starters. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna take Luca. All right, Max, it's up to you. Oh, you can go. No, no, you you got a first beat. Okay. Um, we're LeBron, yeah. Yeah, we got Team LeBron. Okay. I'm gonna take Kyrie. <laughs> I'm gonna take Kyrie. And we 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 go back to back, right? Yeah, so it didn't even matter. Um, right here, I'm going to go, I'm going to Nikola Jokic. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Embiid. I'm picking that, right? Yeah. Jason Tatum. So we got to take, like, we got to take Donovan and Jaw. So we leave them Lowry? Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll take Donovan and Jaw, and then y'all can have Lowry. Alright. So, so, wait. So, hold on. Our lineup would be Kyrie. <laughs> no, I hate our lineup. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. Small, man. Uh, Kyrie, Braun, Jokic, um, Donovan... Who did they just draft? Oh, that's a small lineup. Mm. That's a lot of guards. Same time, dude. It's all right. It's all right. Guards take over in the All Star game. Yeah. It's all right. We begin. We yeah. Yeah. Points. We good. We good. We get the first pick in the reserves, right? Oh yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I know. You know, Mar. You know who we should draft? He's a shooter. Oh yeah, another guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take draft another guard. I'll go. Yeah, take him. No, 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 because that's that's the right pick. Really? Yeah, that's the right pick. Dame. Yeah. Dame. Yeah. Give me Dame. Uh, Brian, we need a shooter, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Alright. What's uh, going on? So, um, Y'all got back to back. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, give me. I'm, how the hell is Jaron Jackson an Austin? <laughs> <laughs> For real. 
What is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, give me KD. KD? Oh, wait, wait. He's not, he not fine. He's not fine. Uh, give me... Give me... Um... Jalen Brown even playing, too? Yeah, he playing. Brown's playing. Is, is he? he? Yeah. Is he injured? Mmm. Yeah, I, 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 I do our track who's in the Mm. I'm trying to find that. Wait, so the injury replacements are. Um, Curry's out. Pascal Siakam. Zion's out. Yeah, it's Siakam, Fox, and so, so pa Pascal and Fox and um someone else. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Edwards. Um, okay. Who is he replacing? I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. All right, so Lowry Markinen is replacing Zion. John Morant is replacing Curry as a starter. So maybe Ant is replacing Ja as a reserve. Yeah, something like that. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. All right, so you went with Jalen Brown. All right, yeah, yeah. I, I think Jalen Brown's still gonna be in this, or if not, it's gonna be announced like today. Uh, it's our pick now. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. Mm, mm, bro, we need him, Paul George. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's who I was gonna pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jalen Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have no bigs, bro. <laughs> um, we need something at the wing. It's our first small forward. And we don't need bigs, do we? We got Jokic. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I would have drafted. Mm, Give me. I'm stuck between two players. Give me, give me. You know what? Give me at at, at will pop off. Give me at. I mean, we look we, like we need a big banner. Bonus. Actually, we would be a good bear, actually. Thank you, thank you. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. And it didn't matter. Then we're going to pick up. We're going to pick up with Mellow Ball. He, he's in the All-Star game? Mm -hmm. He ain't. He ain't. He not? No, he's not. No, he's not. Like, we can get um um Halley, get Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, yeah, we'll you want me to name you some of the reserves that ain't go yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Demar Derozan, Tyrese Halliburton, Drew Holiday. Just one. Well, y'all y'all pick Tyrese Max, Tommy Halliburton. Yeah, yeah, just we just pick them. Right, I'm gonna still name all these people though. Uh, Pascal Siakam, Jaron Jackson, and Sabonis. And right oh, here. Oh, wait, it's your pick, actually. Never mind. No, no, you go, you go. Oh, it's back oh, to I back. Know, yeah, it's back to back. It don't, it don't really matter. Yeah. Who you got? I want Siakam. It's not a bad pick. Not a bad pick at all. And I think I'm going to follow that up with Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But we need size, defense, something. Quite good. I'll forward. I don't know what's good, though. Uh, it's a bonus. Yeah. Takes a bonus and then um, who who's left? The Marin Drew Holiday, right? Uh, Fox. And Fox. I'd rather get Drew at this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Drew. All right, so how many? Yeah, y'all only picked once, right there. Twice picked Drew and Sabonis. Drew and Sabonis. Yeah. Drew and Sabonis. 
So do we just Fox and Randall? <laughs> I don't want Randall, but okay. But I rather I rather DeRozan. I rather DeRozan. Oh wait, 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 we can Oh yeah, DeRozan's up. No no no, we want DeRozan. Sorry. Honestly, I rather DeRozan and Randall. Than Fox? Bro, we, we, we got so many guards. Bro, this positionless basketball in the All Star game is just like chucking threes. Like Randall? All right. So, I, all right, all right. I'm going to go DeMar and you pick. I got DeMar DeRozan. Okay, you pick with DeMar. Um, yeah, you, you go. I'm going to leave them Randall. Give me Fox. Give me Fox. I'm going to leave them Randall. <laughs> we have an all guard lineup. I think that's it. Is that is that complete that's it, that's it. that complete the draft? All right, that was the All Star Game draft. Um, who do y'all think team is better? Like who? Do, do, <laughs> did you write down your team or anything? All right, all right. So their team is better for an actual NBA game because in an actual NBA game you play defense. Our team is better for the All Star game. Because we have the shooters, we have the lethal scores, like we have the wings and the guards that will just chuck threes. So we're gonna win because All Star Game doesn't have defense in the last moment. And by then, Dame is gonna heat up. Like Demar Derozan was crazy in the All Star Game last year. So like I think I think in an All Star Game we win. In the regular season game they could win, but All Star Game I think we got it. Uh, I think our teams is better. Have more size than you guys. <laughs> the game, the pink, going to the post. Um, I'm about to go with our team, and we do have the defense, so we do need the um, lock up and clutch moments. We can stop you. Yeah, but y'all, y'all can have your wide open ducks. Y'all ain't gonna guard us on the three point line. So you can have you can have Sabonis dunking, and then bam dunking. We're gonna have we're gonna have Dame, Kyrie. Who else do we have? Uh, Man, Kyrie, oh, yeah. man, Kyrie, Donovan, Donovan. Yeah, no, Donovan could heat up, heat up in a second. All these players will heat up like crazy. Six also, three. Post score. Three good perimeter defenders and Drew Brown and Tatum, and one of the best anchors. You don't play defense players. in the All Star game. You don't play defense in the All Star game. Come on. Uh, we are. I mean, we got. I mean, we got beat and Bam as anchors. I think we're gonna be solid. Uh, we got Donovan Mitchell playing small forward. That's basically what they doing up there in Cleveland until just now. So, <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go to our midseason awards. So we got All Star break coming in now. So I wanted to ask y'all, who do y'all think is the MVP right now on the straw poll? Nikola Jokic was leading the votes crazy. I think it was like seventy percent, something like that. He was the MVP. Do y'all agree with that? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Everybody else has been kind of, like, injured, like, throughout yeah. the season. Like, Jokic hasn't, like, I mean, he got injured, like, for, like, two to three games. But that was it. I mean, he's been balling, bro. Balling like crazy. Him winning it back to back to back is actually good. Back to back to three times in a row would be insane. Happen just because of that, too. Like, I mean, nothing if you do, if they don't want to chip, in my opinion. Probably not. We need something to favorite. Yeah, they don't want to chip. I don't think I it, it's hard for me seeing them going in the ring. Like, I don't think it's possible, or not. I don't want to say possible, but it's, it's unlikely. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're gonna get bounced in the second round. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was looking at it. If the playoffs started today, they would face the Pelicans. Like, I could see a world where they get bounced out in the first round. If, if Zion's healthy for that, and if, like, the standings were like that, everybody was healthy, Pelicans, i give them six games. Pelicans would win or two. I, I wouldn't be amazed. I, I, I would have the Nuggets winning if I was to, like, pick someone. But it will be in like six or seven. Like I could easily see the Pelicans winning that. Yeah. Who 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 you have coming out in that series? Yeah, I think I'm going. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm Michael Pelkey just because I was eye on this. Just because he's probably one of the best efficient paint scorers in the league. I don't really have an answer for that. Yeah. Outside of Aaron Gordon, they're probably the best defender for that, honestly. Aaron Gordon, not bad, but Sion is him. Yeah. And then they got two lethal shooters outside of that, CJ and Brandon. Not to forget, Jonas can, can spread the floor. Oh, definitely. All right. Okay. So, what would be y'all top three for the MVP? Um, go Yo Kid Giannis and Luca, I think. I'll go Luca. Mm, I, I, I would go, I would go Jokic, Giannis, and B. Or, I, I, actually, I actually don't hate Luca though. At, in the beginning of the season, when they were like the 10th seed, I didn't like that at all. But now, now, I, I can see Luca. I like that three. I like Luka, Jokic, Giannis. I mean, really, really no other. I mean, Embiid's like the only other competition that there really is, in my opinion. I mean, even Dame is Dame's putting up ridiculous numbers right mm-hmm. now and everything, but their team is not winning. They're not winning. They're not going nowhere. All right. What about defensive player of the year? Uh, who's the favorites for that award? I seen Robert Williams skyrocketed. I mean, he's been injured. When when did he come back? In like December? He came back before Jaren, I think. Because the games that I be watching, I personally, I know it's, I guess, a hot take. I think Brooke Lopez would be my number one right now. Like, I don't think Jaron Jackson is as good. Well, he's a great defender, but he has serious problems with fouling. Like, he doesn't even crack 30 minutes per game because he fouls too much. Like, I don't think that should be the best player on defense in the world. And Brooke Lopez and the Bucks, they are on, what, 12-game win streak right now? The best defense in the league. He's clearly the man in the middle who's been controlling that because last season without them, without Brook Lopez, they were what the fifteenth best defense, and with him all of a sudden they're number one. Mm-hmm. And then we got Nicholas Claxton, Ben Matabayo, Giannis, Mobley, Allen. Claxton be found too much too. Claxton does do that too. Be found way too much. Um, I honestly love Robert Williams on defense. I think he's one of the best defenders in the world. Yeah, I can go with that. To be honest, I, I don't really know too much about DPOI. Like, I just, from the games I watch, I think Brooke Lopez is the best defender, but or Bam out of body, but I I don't see you on the win of this award. Yeah. What about uh most improved? I know this is one that if Elijah was here, he he would I, I wonder what his take would be on this, but we got Laurie Markinen, Shea Gilgis, and that's really it. I don't I don't see Jalen Brunson, he actually he's not a bad third. He's not a bad but after that, I don't see nobody winning it. Um, I mean, Shea, Shea was kind of balling last year, too. I mean, he's doing good, but, like, the jump that Lowry Markinen made, I think I think that's – there's no question about it. I think Lowry should win that. Yeah, I'm going with Lowry, too. I think Claxon's also a good name to mention. Claxon is good. Mm, yeah, Claxon is a great name, actually. I would have Larry Markin in too though. He he came from yeah, all star starter from wherever he was last season. He was he was a he was a starter on the Cavaliers, but he's a starter on the All Star game now. Then we got hmm? like Christian Wood. He was like a, a downgrade of Christian Wood. Now he's a face of a team. Definitely. 
about six men of the year. I think Malcolm Brogdon is washing with this award. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's no question. Yeah. Powell not too far. Who? Norman Powell is out there. Mmm, Norman Powell is good. Is Jordan Poole even, like, considered for this? I think, he, I think he's just starting too much now because the Curry's gone. So I don't think he's, he's going to get that award. Yeah. Tyrese Maxey is another cool name. I mean, he does all right, but like, I don't, I don't think the caliber of Malcolm Brogdon and what he's doing off the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malcolm has been doing it the whole season. Maxi been hurt a little bit. Role change. I, I can see. I, I don't know. I'll see Malcolm Brogdon winning this honestly, as of right now. But I wouldn't be surprised if Maxi or Powell made a push. But they're the only three competitors for this award. Is there one that we missing? I think we um, want to. Rookie of the year. Paolo. Oh yeah, rookie of the year. Paulo Paulo Bencaro. Yeah, bro. bro. What? What has he? Bro, I low key. What has bro, he been doing? Kind of an ass. I ain't kept. Oh, been amazing. I don't know, man. How Benedict yeah, he, been? I think Paul's that good. Yeah, right. He's not. He's not amazing. Yeah. yeah the same points as Luca and LeBron. They were rookies. It's that's granted, I'm looking at Paul Wooden. Granted, he's on a bad team, but yeah, Luca was on a bad team too. So was LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah, it would. Paulo Bencaro will win it. I, I would want to see Benedict win it somehow, but it's gonna be Paulo Bencaro. All right, now we got two more things before the episode ends. I wanted to ask y'all: Are the Suns a super team? Like, no, I don't think so. I don't think Chris Paul or DeAndre Ayton still level would make them a super team. Yeah. They're good, like, role players, but, like, they're not, like... I feel like a super team would be, like, having, like, three, like, all-star players on your team. Like, like three to four all-star players on your team. And I don't... Chris Paul and Ayton are not that, and... Devin Booker and KD are obviously good, but I don't, I don't, I don't take anybody else. Right. Devin Booker didn't even make the All-Star game this year. But it was because of injuries, but I'm just kind of yeah, realizing he's that. injured a lot. Yeah. If he wasn't injured, he would have definitely made it, though. I 100% agree with that he would have made it. I've seen this. I, whoa, whoa, I was watching ESPN. Or I, I, didn't, I didn't do it on purpose, you know. I don't know. I don't even know which show I was watching. I saw them ranking the best big three since the 2010s. And I kind of wanted to do that first so we could, like, kind of rank where, the, where on paper what we think the Suns would be. So, like, we're ranking all these teams on paper. So, okay. we, first team is uh, the Miami Heat, Heat big three, the Heatos. We got Bosch, Wade, LeBron. Breaking them among what? Like, like do you think? Top like, 10? Yeah. Right, right, right. So, like, you think the Hedo is better than the Suns' big three on paper? Yeah. Yeah, on paper, yeah. What about the the Harden? Mm, should, should, should I say that? The Harden, Kyrie, yeah, definitely. Durant? Yeah. yeah, they're better. What? That's big three definitely better. Than the than the Suns? Yeah. One percent. We get we got we, we we got we gotta see, man. We gotta see. Go I mean that's big three better than the heat big three. Paper at least. We talking about on paper. Oh on paper? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better off. That's big three, probably best big three. Okay. Think so. Bernie, probably. It, it's, it's not too far. They they up there, bro. They up there. Yeah, I think like, it's, it's, it's since 2010, right? Yeah. I think that's their big, best big three. The big Mets. What about LeBron, Kyrie, and Love? I'm playing LeBron, Kyrie, Love exactly. above the the Suns. Yeah, above the Suns. Yeah. Who who is the Suns' big three? By the way. Got Z. I pick Chris Paul. Or e. I'm pick Chris Paul just because the veteran he is and the all time point guard he is. Yeah, I'm going Chris Paul too as the as the third. You agree with that, Nick? Yeah. Who you gonna put in? Come on. Some people, some people say he's a top five center in the league, man. Bugging, man, bugging, bugging. <laughs> All right, what about Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen? Y'all better, better on paper. They're better on paper. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start Celtics. I'm gonna Celtics. I'm gonna Celtics. It's getting closer though. It's getting close. I ain't gonna lie. It's making it a harder decisions, harder choices. How about uh, Tony Parker, Manu, and Duncan? Go Suns. Uh, <laughs> damn that, that that's <laughs> tough, man. Um, I know we I know we say it on paper, but I, I feel like. like Spurs kind of like that was all drafted though, like that was that was all like drafted. So, yeah, like, yeah. Like, but we ranking big uh, threes, not super teams. I'd go with the Suns. I I'll go with the Spurs. I know I know I'm saying we we doing this off of paper, but right here I'm I'm gonna be a little biased, man, because like I just me knowing five championships came with this. I got no choice but to go with them. On paper, read the names though. I, I I understand. I understand. And we got Curry, Clay, Durant. I'm like, we not even gonna, we not even gonna. Nah, nah. <laughs> Curry, Clay, Durant, <laughs> bro. Curry, Draymond, Durant is above the uh, above this Suns too. Better than the big mystery on paper. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if you just yeah. put, even yeah. if you just put yeah. Curry and K. Even if it's just Curry and KD, two players, they're above mo- most of these, these big three. You know, Larry. You know why? Those, those are big. Those, this big three is better. Cause Kevin Durant is the second best player on this team. No, Katie. <laughs> Curry, Curry is better than KD. I'm not jacking that. <laughs> Curry is better than KD. You're bugging, bro. Okay, KD would have not won those chips if it wasn't for Curry. Bro, if Curry is better. Warriors, he, he would not have no championships right now. Guarantee you, if he did not go to the Warriors, he would yeah, have no he championships. Was, he was still better, though. He was still better. If Durant didn't have rings, you would look at him like Carmelo Anthony. Byron, 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 yeah, okay. look, Byron, look, 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 listen, all right? Listen. KD left, right? And the Warriors won the championship last year. They still, they still got a chip without him. They still got a chip without him. And you're going to tell me that Curry, Curry not better than KD. You're going to tell me that Curry not better than KD. Come on. Do you swap Curry and KD last year? And the Warriors not win a chip? They're not. No. No. Oh, yeah. well, they're not winning. No, they're not winning a chip. No. I think I think they, they would have got disgruntled before the playoffs. Well, 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 why why you don't think so? Because that's what history tells me is going to happen. Bruh, KD will be looked at as Carmelo Anthony if he never played with Stephen Curry. Yeah, sure. If he gets the rings, yeah, yeah, sure. If, if he wins... The, with the Suns, I don't think it's a super team. Like, like we, we were just ranking some big threes. We had, like... We had like 
a good five, six big threes ranked ahead of them. Like, they, they are in a super team. It would be an easier route for them, but, like, I wouldn't discredit this one too much from them. It would still be like, dang, you, you, you got to, you feel me? But it's not, it's not like the Warriors situation. The Suns team is cool, but I don't know, man. I, I can see them losing in the first round. That That's the reason I'm like, I don't really care about KD going there. Like, in the first round, if playoffs started today, who you got, Suns or Clippers? Clippers. But like that, that's a tough matchup. They could lose round one. Oh, I, I, I can't hear you. I think they should. That's a tough matchup. That'd be tough. I think something gonna take it. What's it would have traded eighth like a week with Bear? I think that would be good for them. Yeah, they, that would have been amazing, honestly. But Rudy Gobert, they they couldn't trade him yet. It, it's impossible. They they traded too much to, to trade him already. It's a pride thing. Like, like, this might as well get Aiden. I'd be Aiden second round pick. Bro, I rather, I rather. I feel like this. Uh, they're gonna ask for more for Aiden. They're gonna ask like, OD for Aiden. Yeah, that's true. All right, before we end off the episode, let, let's talk about a couple more series that will happen in the first round in the West. We already. Talk to what were the other ones? We got the Grizzlies versus the Mavericks. That would be the lineup right now. Who, who would y'all have winning that series? Grizzlies or the Mavericks? Or Mavericks? I'm going with the Mavericks. Bro, that's tough because a lot of these teams, they got championship aspirations. And, and at least like three of them going to get knocked off in the first round. I don't think Grizzlies are like that. They're not like that. They're a regular season team. They're literally a regular season team. I think there's missing pieces. I think they need a better three. Josh is trash, bro. Josh is trash. <laughs> Bro, Jaw is pretty elite. Ja is trash, bro. He is so Bro, he is one of the most overhyped players in the league right now. One of the most overhyped players. Tell me otherwise. Man. Bro, he pisses, he pisses me off, man. He pisses me off. He, he, he a highlight reel, bro. That's why he's that's why he he's, he's talked about so much is because he's a highlight reel. He doesn't He's do nothing. Double, double. He doesn't. He doesn't do nothing that amazes me. He does you nothing. Know, what, that's what amazes me. What does Damian Lillard do that amazes you? What? Does Damian Lillard do that that amazes you? He don't do nothing that amazes me either. Like well, I don't know. He will do a lot of things that amaze you if he was on the Lakers with LeBron. I mean, LeBron, <laughs> man, uh, who amazes me? I mean, Steph Curry, man. That's Steph Curry, but but Ja, but Ja's not like that, bro. Why, why are you trying to defend Ja, bro? He's not like uh, that. Who, who made him? Curry, LeBron, that's it? Nah. Luka, Jokic, Giannis. I'm with Ja, I'm with Ja. So. Ja, Ja, not like that, bro. Stop. Stop. We'll see him there. Bro, the, the Grizzlies team is pretty complete, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They don't got too many, like, big holes. And they gonna get knocked out the second round, so they gonna get knocked out the second round, so. Yeah, I, I don't see them I don't see them going too far, though. I ain't gonna lie. They is not good in the West at all. Like, they probably get first round it. Honestly, I have to go to Mavericks in this series, even though the Grizzlies don't got no holes. I just... Yeah. I could I can't go against Luca. And now you tell me to go against Luca and Kyrie? Only only way they lose is injuries. Yeah. I feel like the Grizzlies are like one of the most complete teams right now in the NBA, but like I just I don't think they they don't show up when it matters. They they don't show up. Yeah, they don't show up when it matters. Like they only show up during the regular season like 
during the playoffs last year, like, I'm not gonna say like they they did good against the Timberwolves, but like, the Timberwolves are like trying to still like get up there a little bit. Like they they not like they not all complete either. And they, in my opinion, they could they could have got bounced by the Timberwolves. Yeah, it was matter of fact. Let's talk about that series. We got two teams up and coming. We got the Kings and the Timberwolves. How would that series go out? That that is a tough one. The Kings and Timberwolves, cause they they bought the they in the same. Even though they're very different in the standings, they like the same team. Yeah. Um. If Cat is healthy, I'm going with the Wolves. Honestly, if Cat is healthy, I'm going with the Kings. <laughs> He's gonna get toasted on defense. <laughs> nah. I've- I'm going with the Warriors. Let's play in the series. But I might go. I might go with Wolves, honestly. Just because the Kings have no offense. I mean, defense. Yeah, they, I mean. But, like. And the Kings are kind of, like, young still. I mean. They, they, they don't have any playoff experience. I mean, they got Harrison Barnes as the bonus, but, like, that that's about it. I like the Wolves, but it's just that's my problem with them. I've seen they experience in the playoffs, bro. Like I, I rather just trust the Kings. Like something I never seen. Cause <laughs> bro, last year, bro, the, the Wolves was selling against the Grizzlies. The Wolves should have made it out the first round in four games last year, but they was just selling against the Grizzlies all series long, bro. I could never trust them again. After what I was seeing, yeah, I and I see why they traded seven first for Rudy Gobert. I, w- I would have probably done the same. <laughs> y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about? Uh, really. Gotta wait and see. Bro, we never talk about LeBron uh, breaking a scoring record. Is it too late to talk about that? Uh, not really. I mean, let's talk about that. Yeah, does, does, does him doing that make him the greatest scorer of all time to y'all? Like, anything like that? Maybe even Wilkes. You know, you know, you know, that's crazy. He's he's not even a pure scorer, and he 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 broke broke that. Like he's not even considered like a like a top tier scorer, and he 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 broke it. It's all because of like person. Supposed to be the best scorer all time. He's not a pure scorer. It's because of persona. Like, LeBron is just... Everyone sees him as a playmaker, so, like, no one can say he's a great scorer. He is one of, excuse me, the best scorers of all time, though. But it doesn't... Him breaking the the record doesn't change how I view him as a scorer too much. I think it should change how you put him in the conversation, though, for the GOAT talk, but... It's more of a longevity... Yeah, LeBron. LeBron's number two all time. Like, I, I think it's gonna stay like that. I'll be, I'll be shocked if he does something to make me change it to number one. I, I would love if it happens though, because you know he used to be in Miami. I, I love to see it. I mean, what, what, what if he, if he wins a chip this year, would that change your mind? I'm not saying that he will, because I, I, I give him a twenty percent chance that he will even make it to the finals. That they will make it to the finals, but. Would that change your opinion? I'm going to be so rude to you. LeBron is closer to Curry than he is to Jordan. He, he, he'll need to win two more. That's crazy. I think, it, I think it, it's, this year, I think it's very... I think it, like, what, what, the reason I said that is if he won another ring, he'll still need one more to, to catch Jordan. If he, if he wins two more, all right, maybe. But if he wins one more, I will still have him at number two. If Kurt didn't catch, well, he didn't catch Bill Russell, so why is that the magic scene? 
I mean, yeah, it, 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 you're not wrong entirely. It, it, I would have yeah. to. See. It would just be like if he gets two, it's no debate. Like, like I'll, I'll give it to him. Yeah, because if it's, if it's all about rings and everything, Bill Russell the greatest. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not all. It's not just all about rings. Y'all, y'all right about this. Robert Horry got more rings than Jordan. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's how many losses he got. Also with it. If LeBron wins, I might give it to um LeBron. If LeBron wins. He has five. Well, he'll be five and five and four. Comeback story. I think yeah, something like that. No, I think it's six or five. He's four and six right now. So like, I'm just saying. What What if Curry won one more? He'd be higher. You got to put him in top top five of all time. If that Mike. happens, you got to put him in top five of all time if he wins. Mike. So if he had more rings than LeBron, y'all still see LeBron as the better player? Yes. And I'm going to tell you why, because if you really think about it, Perry, when when Clay, Clay was out for those two seasons, what did Curry do? I mean, granted, Curry got hurt, too, that, that first season that Clay was out. But the second season, they got bounced out of the playing by two teams who were, in my opinion, Worse than what the Warriors were, even without Clay Thompson. So, I just, I just don't see it. I think Curry needs players around him to succeed. Obviously, a lot of players need that to succeed, but I don't, I, I, I can't see it because Curry, LeBron made it to a championship by himself. Curry, Curry's never made it to a championship by himself. Fine, and that just like the Warriors have been pretty much the best team of the decade. Same thing with Jordan's team. So LeBron having so Lakers being a 13 seed, um, playing or out of the playing um, expectation, the end goal get a Finals MVP at age 39. On top of that, I think you just gotta give it to him. I mean, the greatest comeback chip of all time. You no, know, LeBron winning ring will, will will be crazy. Another one, I ain't gonna lie, it, it would kind of be crazy. You might come with Jordan a bit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you, nah, you definitely got to put him over Jordan at that point. Over, I'll, I'll have to see how how he wins. I'll, I'll have to, it. Would, I wouldn't. I would. I'll be open to talking about it though, because I love to see LeBron as the goat once again. Like I told you, former Heat player. Hey, I love to see him win, but I don't. I don't see it happening. But if the Lakers want to ring this year, maybe, maybe. Cause this team sucks. If he wins with this, he be, might might just be a greatest all time, bro. I mean, the, the, the team's a lot better now than what it was. It's still, it's still like, it's a lot better. Bro. All right. But like, are they a playoff team now? Yeah. Cause you Probably. just said that though. They're like a thirteen seed. Probably worse today. It's gonna be hard though. They really need to uh, get that seed up because they only got twenty games left. Yeah, they then they need to step on the gas. They, like, if they if they lose five games, if they lose like five five to six games, I think they they would be fighting for a, a plane. But I think they need to win like at least a lot of them. They need to win a lot of games to even make it out the plane. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they're gonna be fight, fighting for more than the playing because playing is. Uh, I think that's retarded. I don't, I don't like the playing. In my opinion, I don't, I don't like it. You don't like it, but LeBron loves it. That's the only way he can make playoffs this year. <laughs> this is crazy. We got them at the 13th seed with 27 wins, and the Warriors are the ninth seed with 29. So it ain't impossible. It'll probably, I don't know. I mean, the Warriors, it depends on, I don't know the strength of the Warriors' schedule, but if Curry is missing significant time, which I, he's probably missing until, like, the middle of March, end of March, they they could drop down a lot. Yeah. Depending on the strength of the schedule. Well, all right, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, Larry, you could hit the outro. We'll do it. Talking to y'all. See y'all next week. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't even think it matters, bro. Do people? You think people be watching to the end for real? Uh, probably. Yeah, I think so. 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 Yeah, I think
probably not. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But if you listening right now, shout out to you. You heard that conversation. Comment it down below. 